Okay, and we're back. Uh, if you haven't seen any of the videos prior to this one, what we're doing is we are creating a club flyer in Photoshop. And along the way, we're learning a lot of different techniques that we all may be able to use in, at another point. But now we're going to go into actually filling the uh, flyer in with some text. As you can see here in my original flyer, there's text going on all over the place. And what we're going to do is we're going to show you how we created this text. So let's go ahead and start from the first one that I got here. Let's see which one that is. One Night Stand, the official. Okay. Now with this text, this is actually pretty interesting. It kind of goes through a process to get this kind of text. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to where you want to add the text. Let's say we're on this layer here is where we stopped. This is where we were last. What you want to do is you want to add a new layer. And you want to go over to your text tool. Your text tool is right here. You want to go ahead and click that text, text tool. And then you want to click in the area where you want your text to go. Now there's a couple different ways to do text. The way I'm going to show you right now is a text box and I'm sure we might have seen text boxes before. We're going to make a text box by clicking and holding and then dragging out a text box. Now just like I showed you how to make that bar back in the second video, if you press the space bar, hold that down, you'll be able to move that text box wherever you want it. But let's say we want that text box right here where it says one night stand official. I'm going to grab it there bring it out just a little bit more and let it go so now we're ready to actually put text inside that box okay so I used I'm not sure what font this is but we'll find a font that we can use by coming over here to where your fonts are located and let's find a font that we want to use for this one here it doesn't have to be the same I got like 2000 fonts so I probably won't ever find that one again but that's okay. Let's find something fairly similar. Let's go with uh, Quinta. Go ahead and select that font. And up here, you'll see your uh, justifications. Now, if you can see, all this text is justified to the left side. So, what I want to do is make sure I put this justification on left. You got left, you got middle or center, and then you got right justification. What we want is left justification. The next thing you want to see, or you want to uh, make sure you have selected, is your font size. Font size doesn't really matter too much because you can always bring your font up or down, depending on what you want. But just for giggles, we'll put the font size at highlighted. Let's make it at 20 and enter. Okay, now we're going to start typing. We're typing in one night stand. Let's go ahead. I think he used all caps, so let's press the caps on here. So one. I'm gonna hit enter to go to the next line. Night. Enter. Stand. And below that one, you can see where official is a lot smaller font. So we're going to. Uh, bring that down to let's say 10 and put and that's not in caps so let's put the official and we're going to press OK and while that's thinking what we're going to do now is going to disable the layer that's above it so we can actually see what we're doing here and that's the one night stand now this is a good point to actually show you some things you see one night stand is all jumbled up as a matter of fact I put the official that's not actually spelled the official so we're gonna have to go in and alter that a little bit so all you need to do is either double click the text icon or you can come over here and select it with this icon and then that's gonna highlight everything so you can go ahead and edit it what we're gonna do is we're gonna double click this icon and then that's gonna edit it now one night stand is all run together and we don't want it to look like that we want it to look like this right 
So what are we going to do to fix that? Over here are a lot of different options that you can use in order to get your characters to behave the way you want them to. Go ahead and click that and you'll see that your character palette will now open up. Now, we're not going to worry about the paragraph palette right now. We'll just worry about the character palette. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to get this one night stand to open up a little bit. If you see right here, this one is called the uh, vertical scale. You can go ahead and click and hold the actual icon and drag to the left or right. And you see one night stand is starting to get a little bit bigger if I go to the right or smaller if I go to the left. That's actually just making the letters bigger. What I want to do is spread them apart. So let's come up here. And this one is called the uh, letting. So we're going to do the same process here. We're going to click and hold and we're going to drag to the left. And you can see that's around 37.82. Just to make that a rounded off number, let's make it uh, 35. 35. And that looks pretty good. Another thing we need to correct here is official. I'm missing a C there. It's going to go there where the two I's are. Delete one of those I's, put a C there, and now we're good. So now we've just uh, adjusted it to look the way you want it to look. Now, another thing that you can see here is called the um, horizontal scale. With everything select, let's say with one selected, let's just get one selected. The horizontal scale will then push the letters out this way. Let's bring it back there. And I showed you this one before that just made them a little bit a little bit taller. Alright, so now that that's all good, we we'll go ahead and press yes or check that. And now we have one night stand, the official all <clears throat> one character. So now let's go ahead and close that box, the uh, character box. And if you noticed, my original one night stand is has a, has a gradient on it. So now we need to add a gradient. Photoshop will not allow you to add a gradient on an actual text box. It just won't let you do it. If I try to come over here and add a gradient on that, you see this big old no symbol here, which means no, you can't do it. So how are we going to add a gradient, such as this one? Let's bring this down a little bit. Select the move tool and bring that down. Okay. We want to add a gradient such as this one on here, one night stand, the official. So what we need to do is go back to that layer, highlight it, right click on the layer, and then you'll see a little box show up. And what you want to go to is rasterize type. And what that's going to do is allow your um, text to be uh, manipulated. The one thing you can't do after that is you can't change any words or letters around after you already rasterize it. I can't go in here and change night to day anymore because I just rasterize it. I would have to unrasterize it if I wanted to change a letter or a word on there. But all we want to do is uh, put a gradient on one night stand. So now that we have one night stand selected, what you want to do is go over to your gradient palette and then up to your uh, gradient picker the same way we did before and just as I went over with the stops before we're going to add stops and we're going to cheat a little bit we're going to double click that stop and we're going to select the first color which is a uh, yellow looking color did it get it? Right. okay we're going to add a stop in the middle. Double click that one. We're going to get that green. Okay. And the last stop. And double click that one. And get the yellow again. Let's just get the yellow from off of here. Alright. And press OK. Now, how are we going to add a gradient to that? Watch to see what happens here. I got the layer selected, I added a gradient, and boom, the whole thing blew out. That's not going to work, right? So what you need to do is undo that, Control-Z, 
In order to add a gradient just to one night stand the official, you actually have to highlight or activate just that layer. Now how do we activate the layer prior? What we did was we went over to the layer icon, pressed control, and then clicked on the layer. That activated only the layer. So what you do from there, once the layer is activated, go from the top, you press shift as we did before, you drag down to the bottom, you let go. Boom. Now one night stand the official has a gradient on it. Go ahead and deselect that by control D and you have one night stand. Now you can maneuver it or manipulate it however you want after you get it that way. If we want to transform it or increase or decrease its shape, you just press control T and that allow you to free transform it. You come over to one of the sides here. You can make it wider by one of the stops here, taller, or relative this way. And just move it around to make it look how you want it to look. Now there are a couple tricks that you can use inside the uh, free transform. If I press alternate shift and hold on the uh, corner here, it will expand from the middle relative without anything being off center. Everything's even. So I'll actually like that a little bit. And then I let the mouse go. I like that a little bit. And we're going to press OK. All right. So we have one night stand, the official, the same way we had it before. Now we're going to move on to the next step.